Okay, I'm out here with my Tokyo Maori 870. This is the M870, the Remington 870. Uh, it uses the new type shot shells. They're more expensive than the old shot shells, and don't get me wrong, it's a good thing actually. If you try and use a clone shot shell in this thing, it won't feed. They're crap. You just you can't use them. Even in the Tokyo Maori spring shotguns, don't use clones. Use the real ones. Don't even bother with clones in this thing. They won't feed. And even with the old TM shells, really, they don't work properly. Definitely go and get yourself some of the new TM870 rated shells, they are far better. On the top here you'll notice I've got a Cree flashlight, it's the 2000 lumen version of it. Okay, five modes, strobing as well, really, really nice, zoomable. So it's got that zoom function on it if you want to zoom in and give all 2000 lumens to a few inches, which you can do a few inches square. Horrific to be on the receiving end of that in strobing mode. Metal bodied as standard. Reasonable pump on it, much lighter than spring guns. Gas tank goes in the back here, just to open the butt pad. Now, having used it in CQB, it's a really, really awesome piece of equipment. Down the front here, got my new muzzle brake. Link to it is in the description. Really cool bit of kit, and one thing you will note when you install it, I'll just show you, it's the wrong diameter, okay? It is a loose fit, and it's really not ideal. Uh, this muzzle brake, you need masking tape, okay? So just pop it around, and also when you do it up for grub screw on the underside of it, this grub screw here is going to damage your outer barrel, so make sure you've got some masking tape. Masking tape is your friend, which is always a good idea if you ever plan to take it off, you don't want silver scratch lines all down the front of it. The weapon itself is awesome. I'm going to go inside now, and I'm going to demonstrate the strobing on the flashlight and how effective it is. Okay, here's my flashlight. Link can be found again in the description to the flashlight I'm using. I'm using a UTG rifle mount and my good old friend masking tape here. Uh, the belt clip you'll notice I've actually just used a Dremel to remove it because it was a pain in the ass and I didn't want to unscrew the torch. So once I found out the torch was working, I just took my trusty old friend of a Dremel straight to it, cut through it. Like so. And the best bit is, it's focusable. So you can direct 2,000 lumens at whatever you want with very, very little in the way of loss of light. You've also got other functions, free brightness settings, and then you get strobe, which is great because you can focus for strobe as well. And because you can focus for strobe, you can blind people with it. So it's a pretty cool setup. One of those ones where you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. Uh, and the ability to focus it, as you can tell, goes down to being essentially you can aim with that. It's a square which you can aim with, which is exactly what I'm going to do up at the mall. Uh, I'm not planning on being harsh enough to use the strobe function because that's illegal in most sites, it's banned. But yeah, it's a really great light and the idea of it being 2000 lumens, not just a brightness, it's the actual light saturation the output and the sheer width. It. That's about where a normal torch would be. This thing can illuminate an entire room. Uh, it's extremely bright and the strobe function is just horrific.